Omarosa's book unhinged claims these Trump Jr. tweets absolutely infuriated POTUS. Through the thickest of political spin and the thinnest of public support, President Trump and Donald Trump Jr. have always seemed to stand by each other. So, it came as a surprise when a former White House aide shared what Trump supposedly called his son behind the scenes. Omarosa Manigault Newman's new book Unhinged claims Trump Jr. absolutely infuriated his dad with a handful of tweets back in July 2017. Bustle has reached out to the White House for a comment on Manigault Newman's allegations. Ahead of the book's release, the White House called Manigault Newman a disgruntled former White House staffer in her forthcoming book one that is riddled with lies and false accusations, according to ABC News. Manigault Newman claims that the president dubbed his firstborn of F cup after Trump Jr. Tweeted out screenshots of his emails from June 2016 with a British lawyer associated with the Kremlin. The emails show the lawyer, Rob Goldstone, offering supposedly incriminating information on then-Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. He is such a F cup, the president apparently said, according to Manigault Newman's book, the New York Daily News reported. He screwed up again, but this time, he's screwing us all, big time. President Trump reportedly made this comment during a meeting with Manigault Newman, who was abruptly fired from her role as a White House aide last December. Prior to that, she had served as a former assistant to the president and the director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison. Trump defended his son publicly after the July 2017 tweets, saying that most people would have taken that meeting. Even more recently, Trump again defended Trump Jr. on the subject, saying that meetings like the one under scrutiny are totally legal and done all the time in politics. The Trump Tower meeting, which took place on June 9, 2016, is one of the events at the center of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia in the 2016 presidential election. Both Trump and Putin have denied collusion allegations. The screenshots of the emails showed that Trump Jr. was actually informed of the lawyer's connections to Moscow before the meeting took place, something he had previously denied, The Hill reported. Though the book seems to hold juicy interactions and a peek behind the curtain, the veracity of the memoir has been questioned. On Sunday, Michael Cohen, Trump's former lawyer and fixer, denied one of the stories that Manigault Newman shared, in which she claimed President Trump ate a note. CNN also fact-checked parts of the book and found some to be factually wrong. On top of her supposed observations from the White House, Manigault Newman also revealed that she secretly recorded several conversations with President Trump as well as other White House officials. It's unclear if that includes the interaction in which Trump calls his son of F cup, but with some of the doubts surrounding her claims, she might just have to offer up those recordings as proof of her stories from the White House.